Hi, I figured I'd just show off this effect real quick. Um, basically, I'm fine-tuning the system again. Sometimes you have to take it apart to bare basics for fine-tuning and upgrading. So basically, I have the transmitter on, which is the center one, powered up by the four super caps. And... I have the trans the uh, receivers powering up this light bulb here, and basically the effect I wanted to show is how that um let's see if I get this in frame. So basically the effect I wanted to show is pretty much how the receivers are running this incandescent load, and there's no strain on the power on the uh, transmitter's input when when it runs. Like as you see, incandescent runs. And my input power never changes whatsoever. So my receivers are able to run an incandescent load. With no form of power degradation. On the input to the transmitter. Like the, the transmitter isn't consuming more power. From the super caps. To run the incandescent load. So that's basically what I wanted to show. And as you can see. Our power is locked. And if you go oh well you're not. You're not powering the bulb. With the transmitter circuitry. It's like, well, really? I shut it off, it shuts off. So, I turn it on. We're back at 20 watts. Um, super caps power. Super caps are in parallel. This one's in parallel with that one. It powers up this advanced DC to DC boost board, 0 to 120 volt DC. I can adjust the current. That powers up the transmitter, which is in the center. These two receivers, their outputs are in parallel through bridge rectifiers of 1N5817 diodes. So those two outputs are in parallel, powering up this little mini incandescent lamp. As you see, powering the lamp has does not cause a power increase to occur on the transmitter circuitry. Now this is where it gets interesting. If I add a resonant capacitor to it, It'll get brighter without draining any power. So the incandescent gets brighter without drawing any power. Hopefully you can see that. I'm having trouble uh, holding it there because that ground prong is in the way. I'm going to try and flip it. Yeah, everything fights you so bad when you do a video. But uh, anyway, you can kind of see it here. Get it all in frame. Oh, you can really see it. As you see, that capacitor. Me holding the capacitor there causes the bulb to get slightly brighter with no no more of a power draw on the uh, system. So, it's just a standard film capacitor and I'm just holding it to it. And the bulb will get brighter. So I figured I'd demonstrate that. Quick little cool tip to show that receivers when tuned don't place an electrical strain on the transmitter whatsoever. So I just wanted to show that. And stay creative guys. And thank you again for all the support.